Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a JFY inverter, and as you can see, the red alarm light is on. If we just zoom in there, you can see it's coming up on the screen with EE prom failure. Now this is uh, telling us that the inverter has detected a internal fault with the electronics inside the inverter. So what we can try and do is uh, reboot the inverter and try and see if that rectifies the issue. It may just be a one-off fault which just a, a reboot uh, will, will rectify the issue. So this EEPROM failure message is the inverter telling us that the Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a JFY JSI 5000 inverter. And if we look into the screen, we've got a red alarm light on and it's coming up with EEPROM failure. Now, EEPROM failure is the inverter telling us that, the, that it has detected an internal fault with the electronics inside the inverter. And this is usually not a good sign. <laughs> What we can try and do if you have this issue is uh, attempt to reboot on the system and see if that will potentially clear the fault. And to do that, what we do is we follow the shutdown procedure, which is we turn off the solar supply main switch in the switchboard. Or if you have an inverter AC isolator such as this one here, we can turn that one off. And then we turn off the PVA DC isolator, which is this one over here. Throw that one off and we wait for the screen to go blank and the alarm light to go out which will take a few seconds there we go the screen's gone completely blank there and now we'll just restart the inverter which is just a reverse process from the starter procedure so we just uh, turn on the dc and then we turn on the ac and we wait for the inverter to start back up again. So it's just doing the grid countdown at the moment. And you've seen it's, it's done, it started that grid countdown and nearly immediately it's come up with an EEPROM failure message like this. So EEPROM failure is an internal fault with the inverter. If your inverter was installed within the last five years, then is it an issue which would be covered under warranty if you can get any warranty out of JFY? If it's outside the five year warranty period time, we would recommend replacing the whole inverter with a good quality replacement inverter. Look, you could try and get the inverter repaired. However, you're just throwing good money after bad, really. You're much better off spending a little bit more money, getting a good quality replacement inverter, which isn't gonna give you any issues in the future. Or if it does give you issues, it's covered under the manufacturer's warranty. So if you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland, you've got an issue like this, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If you're somewhere else in the world, I recommend you get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician to assist you further. Thanks very much.